Okay, so haul time. Stationery from multiple places. Um, I have Michael's Walmart. Actually, yeah, just Michael's Walmart and Five Below. Um, I have some Hello Kitty finds, which I'm excited to share with you. And yeah, so this is a collective haul. So this was over multiple trips. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you love stationery as much as I do, if you love shopping, if you like hauls, consider subscribing. I would love for you to be here. And let's get started. First bundle of things. Um, oh, I forgot. Hobby Hobby is also another place. So these are some Valentine stickers that I got. And I haven't used them, obviously. We're in March, but um, this was whenever they had just taken out their items and they were all 40% off. They never like full priced. But anyway, um, yeah, so now I'm hauling them. Um, so this was originally $2.99. These are mini, mini Valentine animal stickers, 163 pieces, and they're laser foiled. These are so cute. I love the little dinosaurs and this bear holding a heart is so cute get a lot of stickers these are so adorable look at this little drink how cute is that yeah I love these sticker sheets they did have um some repeats from the previous year but yeah I just got a couple and the next one is valentine gnomes 35 piece and this one was originally $2.99 to remember the 40% off these are like foam stickers um, and they have some silver holographic foiling. I love this little wagon with the basket of hearts and all the cute gnomes. I like the usage of the gray. I think that's interesting. The gray and the red. We've got this cute gnome riding a bike. Love that. And then I saw dinosaurs. I had to get it. So this one is called Love Dinosaurs. 26 pieces and these were originally $1.99. And these are clear stickers with some gold foiling. But like, look at this T-Rex holding a little present. and He's got like little heart ears, or like a heart headband. This one with like heart balloons is adorable. And these two that are in love. I love how colorful they are too. And then the last one is called Gummy Bears and Heart Stickers, 34 pieces. This was $2.49. Um, and these are also like 3D kind of puffy stickers with that laser foil. And yeah, they're like little conversation hearts and they've got cute gummy bears. It says cutie pie, be mine, XOXO. This definitely looks like something I would find at like Daiso, not Hobby Lobby, but I should have got two of this one. It's so cute. So anyway, that is all from Hobby Lobby. Now next up is some stuff from Michaels. Now I have some stuff from like January when they had like Christmas stuff on sale. So I am just getting around to hauling these particular items. So I'm gonna share with you those um the first thing i guess i'll show you the sticker books first they had them for like 75 percent i think off so these were originally 4.99 so this one you get 263 pieces and this one is very like my kind of christmas aesthetic a lot of like forest greens a lot of like shiplap and wood kind of like cabin traditional christmas but kind of like um like woodland I don't know if that makes sense but anyway that's kind of the vibe um so yeah and there's a lot of gold foiling in this by the way but like look how cute this little deer is with this like wreath I love the way it looks it's kind of vintagey I'm obsessed with these little red houses with the snow tops and the trees and then we have these are so cute this gingerbread bakery sticker is my favorite this one's really cool it's like cross stitch. Stay cozy. This one's very cute. And then we have these stickers, which go all the way up to 25. So if you make like advent calendar bags, this would be cute. Look at this little bunny. Oh my gosh, adorable. And then here we've got some cute little cozy things. We've got some pajamas and slippers. I love the little cookies. And the gingerbread man has like a bite taken out. I love his puzzle. That is really cool. Then we've got some like labels or stickers you could use like in your planner. I love these. The prints are so pretty. This owl is so cute. And then some alpha stickers in red and green. And then some more like woodland creatures. See, this is like the vibe. I love it. Like the cabin in the in, like winter wonderland, cabin in the woods. 
um, type of thing going on. So cute. Love the cardinal. And then some more of this like cross stitch or like sweater type of like look with the stay cozy. Love this little hot cocoa one. And then we've got these with the little like cookies, the snow globe, and then some sticker strips. I love the one with the houses. It's so cute. Or like the little village, I guess. But anyway, so yeah, so that is that sticker book. And then the other one, you get 276 pieces. I like how it looks like a snow globe. Um, this one is definitely more, I guess, a little retro, but it's very like traditional Christmas. It reminds me of Christmas from like the 90s, I guess. Um, well, this first page here, we've got like this retro vintage car with all these presents on the top. Um, we got some advent stickers with Santa. There's those houses again, it's really cute. But yeah, a lot of Santa Claus stickers in here. Go Christmas tree, we've got that car again. And then again, gold foiling. These are great for like planners. I love the usage of all the plaid. I love the plaid. And then some sticker strips. Like this one definitely reminds me of like decor from the 90s, like Christmas. It's very very specific, if that makes sense. But look at the snowflakes. I love that. And then we've got the poinsettias. All these beautiful stickers. And then I'm obsessed with these snowflakes. I like how they did kind of like a brown background. It like kind of looks like a, like a cork board or something. And then we've got these stickers. Merry and Bright. Peace on Earth. Deck the Halls. And then some more. These are kind of, I guess, for like gifts. Tis the season to be jolly. Happy holidays. And again, more of that plaid. And here are some more. All these little circle stickers. The Let It Snow. This cardinal with the gold foil is everything. And then some alpha stickers that have like poinsettias or like, yeah, and holly and like other Christmas flowers. And then another sheet and yeah that is that sticker book i really like it and i'm excited to be to uh to use those next year um in christmas cards and stuff so the next thing is this amazing stamp it's so big i don't have any huge stamps like this and i want to start collecting them um but this one says home for the holidays they had so many to choose from but i didn't want to go too crazy because i do have a lot of like christmas stationery but I was like, okay, I'm just going to get some stuff, but look how big this wooden stamp is. That's how it looks. This was originally $7.99, which I think is actually a pretty good cheap price for this because these wooden stamps are, they're expensive, like at Hobby Lobby, and I feel like they don't really put them on sale as often, but yeah, it's super cool. And then, um... I guess I'll show you these as well, <laughs> these stamps, because they're also Christmas. Uh, they come in a cute little jar, which is great. Um, this was originally $5.99 and you get 12 pieces. And these are the stamps. They did have a couple jars. And I just really like this one because I love the little house. I like the sled. And yeah, and I like that it comes in a little organizer thing. But yeah, they're just like small little wooden stamps. And um, I don't really have any Christmas stamps. So this is going to be so fun for next year. Especially this one. Like, just imagine this. Dipping it into, um, like, embossing ink. And putting it on a card. Or, like, cardstock or um, scrap of paper. And using, like, my like little heat gun. and Or putting foiling on it. That would look so cool. Um, and then they had uh, washi tape as well. Like, I think like three or four styles, but I got this one, which is my favorite, and you get five pieces, and this was originally $4.99, and they're thin washi, you can see here. I love the little candy canes, the presents, and we've got like a, like a red foil one, and then a snowflake, and then the one with the little deer and the Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, love it. Okay, next up, they were trying to, they're getting rid of a lot of stickers because they're like rebranding their sticker section and like getting new packaging and stuff. And I think that they're also 
like um, discontinuing some brands or they're not discontinuing they're just not gonna be selling those brands anymore like um, I think it's by American Crafts because uh, they did have some sticko stickers and then some of these jo Jolie's boutique um, and these were on sale for 99 cents and I know these originally went for like three to four dollars um, so I just got my favorites so I got this super cute one with all of these animals and these are just like clear stickers but I got it for the little mouse. How cute is this mouse? And I love the little ladybugs. Yeah, I got that one. I should have got two of those just because the mouse is so cute. And then I also got this birthday one. Oh, and this one you get 15 pieces. This one you get 38 pieces. This one has red foil. There's like blues, yellows, and pinks. But I loved this cake with the candles. Always gets me. And then we've got a little slice right there and like balloons with ribbon and yeah this is going to be great for birthday cards and we got party hats and stuff they had um a, a good amount to choose from but again i was like let me just get my favorites and then from this jolie's boutique these are embellishment stickers you get 18. these are so pretty these are definitely like premium stickers um it's like this little under the sea theme um and they're very premium because like look at these little bubbles they're kind of like pearlescent i guess but yeah we've got like a shark an octopus a cute penguin and by the way the penguin is like flocked and i don't know if you can tell like how they're like layered with glitter we've got like coral and this really cool sticker is my favorite it's like a i don't know a submarine window or something and it has like a clear blue plastic it's just so cool like all the details in these stickers like I feel like for sure you would never see something like this by Crafter Square at Dollar Tree because these are like embellished heavily okay so moving on to some more stuff from Michaels so there's like a section which it's for like I guess kids but I saw the Hello Kitty peeking out and I ran there are these plastic 3d stickers um and I think these were like two dollars you get 17 stickers each. You can see they are like 3D. This one's so cute. I love her with her little umbrella. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love the little cupcakes and everything. And then this one is adorable as well. I like how she's wearing a little like purple cat suit. So cute. And there's like candies and stuff like that. I think they did have a third option, but they didn't have it. So anybody knows if there's a third sticker sheet to this hello kitty sticker set at michael's let me know because i need it but yeah it was only like two dollars so if you are a hello kitty fan and you like stickers go to michael's um and then the last thing from michael's is this little makers sticker book you get six pages and these were a dollar 99 226 pieces and you get two sheets of each style which is cool um I almost didn't get this but I really liked all of the like jungle animals um, this would be great for like summer spreads so we got this giraffe this lion this cute chunky tiger oh he looks so happy but yeah you get two sheets of those all right I literally my dogs outside right now I'm in my room but you know they're in the living room I hear them, you know, they bark occasionally. So if you hear dogs barking, that's just, you know, I have five dogs. There's no way around it, you know. Um, But the, yeah, two of them were fighting. So I went ahead to go like break it up. Like if you have dogs, you know how it is. They'll play and then they get mad and then they fight. And then it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Oh my gosh. Anyway, they're all good though. They're fine. Nobody got hurt or anything, but anyway um okay as i was saying hopefully i don't get interrupted again um the next sticker sheet is this one um and it has just little circular stickers it says wild and free be brave and then again you get two sheets of those and then there's some arrows and some plants and little hearts and yeah i just like how colorful these are these are really cute so yeah i got that and then moving on to walmart <laughs> I don't really ever get like stationary from Walmart very often. Um, I guess I'll show you the Easter stuff first because we're not in April yet. Um, 
I did get two of these notepads. So I got this one. It's a shaped list pad and you get 60 sheets. By the way, these were all 98 cents. 98 cents. Come on, Dollar Tree. Come on, Dollar Tree. Now, I know Dollar Tree definitely, um, they've upped their game in a lot of products, but they've also downsized a lot of their products. If you know what I mean, let me know down below. Let me know because I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I just really like this one. I liked all the flowers. I love the purple. I like the shape of it. It's very cute. I could totally add a magnet on the back and put it on my fridge. Very springtime. And then this one, you also get 60 sheets and it says busy bee with the cute little bees. And it's like a coral color and it is lined and it does have a magnet. Um, yeah, I know like bees are like a thing this year for summer, I guess, or for spring. I don't really know. Um, and then I also found some sticker sheets. They did have a couple, probably like 10 or 12 different options. And I just got my favorite ones. So this one, you get 16 pieces and they're googly eye stickers. So some of them have little googly eyes and they're just cute little bunnies. Like look at this one with the flower crown and this little guy with the uh, glasses and the bow tie is so cute. And then the next one, you get 15 pieces and these are also kind of like 3D, they're like plasticky sort of, but they have like silver holographic foiling. And look at this bear couple holding an Easter egg. That is so cute. <laughs> and this raccoon, I love this raccoon with a little mushroom. I don't got the little squirrel and the fox with the mushroom. Yeah, so cute. I should have got two of these. But again, I'm always like, I should have got two and I didn't. I never do. I hardly ever do. Um, the next one you get 21 pieces and these are like plastic as well. Very 3D. Um, but it says spring has sprung. We've got the little bunny. I like this one. It's like the shape of an Easter egg with the bunny sleeping with the flowers. And this one, she looks so happy with her carrot. So cute. Okay, so that's all the Easter stuff from Walmart. And now I also got some pins. These are the Big Crystal Extra Bold Ballpoint Pins. You get 10 um, bold and colorful lines. So it features a 1.6 millimeter ballpoint for extra bold writing. Writes with vividness and flair, bold and colorful lines. Our quality comes in writing. Um, I'm more of like a gel pen person, but I don't mind a good ballpoint pen. I am left-handed by the way, so gel pens and I are not, we aren't the best of friends when it comes to smudges and stuff. Um, if you're left-handed, left-handed club. My fiance is also left-handed. So we, we understand how <laughs> like journals are not meant for us. Like here in the Western world, it's just, it's not made for left-handed people at all. Um, but anyway, I love a good ballpoint pen and I haven't had a set of these in a very long time, but you get multiple colors. I'm going to take them out of the package so we can look at them. So yeah, they're just normal pens. I think that pack was like a dollar something. We've got a regular blue, a lime green, a black, a baby blue, this really pretty like teal green, this like dark green, a red, a light pink and then a like magenta and then a purple but yeah and they just look like this they're just simple you know got the colored lids and then it's just like the black barrel i'll swatch these in a second but yeah i got those and then the last thing from walmart is this pin and gear budget planner and there's 80 pages and this was like four dollars i think look at the little pig i've never had a budget planner um if you've ever had a budget planner let me know uh your thoughts on it if it works or not um I don't know if I'm going to start it this year because it. Uh, I hate starting things like a couple months into the year, like planners like this. I won't do it. I will save it until the next year. So maybe I'll save it till next year, which I mean, I know we're still in March, but anyway, um, I love the floral cover. It's giving me pioneer woman vibes for sure. Um, but yeah, it has a yearly overview. So you can put your month income expenses, savings, you have financial goals, taxes, the type, the pay, the refund, federal, state, property, accountant, and fees. Um, I love how colorful it is in here too. Then you have your yearly payments, the year, and you can write down the bill, the name, service, price, and charge date, your subscriptions information, the same thing you could write there. And then it goes in um, through the monthly setup. So, well, here you have your month and the year, and I guess you could write like out the calendar and stuff like bill bills i guess i don't know um, monthly budget you have your month 
the income, your main source, other source, savings, start balance, in balance, and then you have your total debt, food, budget, actual, and difference, bills, entertainment, and other, and it's the same thing. And so here you can write the date, the source, the amount, total income, and then you have a little notes section. And then you have a monthly spending tracker, which is great. Um, miscellaneous, and you could just fill it out and write the total. You have your savings for general emergency vacation, Housing, rent, mortgage, water, electric, gas, phone, television, insurance, maintenance, internet, yard, lawn care, fees, entertainment, movies, vacation, hobbies, going out, and subscriptions, uh, personal, beauty, wellness, lessons, clothing, hobbies, gifts, nail salon, hair salon, transportation, payments, insurance, gas, rideshare, maintenance, parking, um, and then it goes on to health, insurance, co-pays, mental health, medicine, prescriptions, vision care, vitamins, medical bills. Uh, for children, child care, tuition, classes, school meals, toys, school supplies, clothing, sports, activities, babysitter, allowance, camp, giving, charities, religious, political, clothes, shoes, work, casual accessories, uh, food, groceries, dining out, coffee, fast food, work, lunches, alcohol, and then pets, food, veterinarian, medication, sitter, boarding, bedding, walking, grooming, toys. And it also gives you a little extra space here to write down, I guess, extra. Um, but yeah, it is completely right here. Like it's detailed and I like that. Um, and then you have a spending summary. So you could write the date, the item, the description and the total. Um, I love watching like those cash stuffing videos here on YouTube. I think they're so interesting. Maybe one day I'll try doing that. I think that would be really cool. Um, and like saving every single one of my receipts. I tried doing that one time and I couldn't, but I think I just need to try it again. But anyway, it's the same thing throughout the entire year which is really nice um and then it even has um a debt tracker at the end so your debt balance minimum payment date payment amount remaining balance and notes and you have multiple so i guess if you have like multiple credit cards multiple loans whatever it is and then you have a weekly savings tracker so the weeks by number the week of deposit and balance that's why i didn't want to start this at first i was like okay well it's not labeled i can start it right now even though I wouldn't start it in March. I would start it in April with the brand new month coming, but the weeks, it bothers me. It bothers me. It says budget like a boss. But yeah, I thought this was really cool. So if you are trying to see if you could save money and budget yourself better, um, maybe check out Walmart if you like it. Okay, guys, the last things are from Five Below, and I've got some stickers and some journals that are Sanrio themed. The first ones are these sticker packs, and you get four sheets. I think two of them are like this crackled holographic, and then the other two are just like regular, like shiny sticker paper. These are by Sandy Lion, and these I think were like three three dollars, I think. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So the first one is oh yeah. So they're like separate. So you get both designs and both like sticker paper versions. Um, so this one's very pastel. We've got Hello Kitty as a planet, very kawaii, I love it. We've got Pom Pom and just like all the characters looking super cute. And again, it's the same thing. Um, the next one um, is from that same like kawaii collection. My Melody, Kuropi. Tuxedo Sam, just all the characters hanging out. I love when they're like in their little capsules. That is so cute. And then the next one is like a, a Japanese themed one. Look at Hangyo Don, so cute. And my Melody and Hello Kitty with their um, kimonos, and they have like uh, the flowers and they have the umbrella. I love this sticker sheet. This one's so cool. And then we have these. Pom pom is so cute. Bochaco. Yeah, I really love these. So, if you're into plannering or plannering, if you're into planning um, or bullet journaling or whatever, and you like Sanrio, go to go to Five Below. And these are also on my wish list, and I found them. They're the hardcover spiral Hello Kitty journals. These were five dollars. Now, Five Below, my Five Below. They've completely changed up the store, and I don't know how I feel about it. But one thing is that um, a lot of the Sanrio stuff, they're they're five dollars and fifty-five cents now. Not all of it, but some of it. So like some of these journals are now five fifty-five, 
And I mean, I don't even want to talk about inflation or whatever. I just feel like at this point, some companies are really just getting greedy. Um, and they just see, well, everybody's raising their prices. Let's raise our prices for whatever reason, because we want more money and that 55 cents adds up or whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah. And then now they have like a whole section in the back that is, uh, five below and beyond it's just change your name like you're not five below like just change your name like dollar tree dollar tree you need to change your name <laughs> um anyway so i got this one we've got we have hello kitty in a spaceship with flat and there's like a rainbow and it's this turquoise color hello kitty sitting in the back and this is by inkology by the way um yeah so you could write this journal belongs to and then i love that the paper inside is not just lined paper we have hello kitty in the corner and a little bow and yeah, it's just a lined journal. And the paper is like actually very nice. It's kind of thick. I like that. And then the last journal is this one and it's pink with Hello Kitty. We've got a little Hello Kitty drink and a rainbow. And it's the same thing on the back and it's literally the same thing in the inside. But yeah, I'm obsessed with these. I love these. So yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those pins right here and I'll be back. Okay, so I have the swatches. Um, so these are the Big Crystal, 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 Extra Bold pack of tin at Walmart for like two dollars. This is my little pin marker swatch journal. Um, so this is the black, which is nice. We've got the it's kind of like a bright blue sort of. Um, we have red. We have this like baby blue. And this kind of like olive green. I thought it was going to be more lime green. It's kind of a little bit more like olive-y. Like avocado green, sort of. And then this like teal definitely is more of a true green color. Actually, no. This is the actual green. This is the teal. It's kind of like a forest green teal. And then we have like the pink and then the magenta. Very, uh, you can see the difference. But, um, and then we have the purple, which is nice. They were all very smooth. Um, and you know, they're ballpoint ink. It's not gel pen ink, they're different. Um, but I like them though. And they don't smudge as much. They did smudge a little bit. Um, and when you do have ballpoint pens, you always have to, you know, get a, a separate piece of paper and kind of like get the pen going, get the ink flowing. Um, and then those do have a little like plastic tip covering so that the ink doesn't dry out. So if you do get them, just make sure to take those little things off. But anyway, I really enjoy them. All right, so that is everything in this collective haul. Let me know down below um, which item is your favorite. I'm obsessed with these Hello Kitty journals and my Sanrio stickers. Yeah, I love everything. Anyway, um, yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified whenever I do upload a new video and so you don't miss any future uploads. Um, my Instagram and my TikTok are linked in the description if you want to give me a follow and... Yeah, so that is pretty much it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay kawaii, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.